Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's On Live Bulletin. If you've watched the movie Lagan, the theme was basically the wait for rain for the farmers. But if you think of monsoons, especially in the Northeast, the anticipation is not that sweet for the people of the Northeast. With the monsoons bringing smiles to millions of farmers, there are tears for the people of the Northeast, and in particular, Tripura. The India Meteorological Department brought down the heavy rainfall warning to an orange alert today. The weather agency had issued a red alert in Tripura on August 21st, and the authorities announced the two-day closure of schools after heavy showers inundated several regions, including the capital, Agartala. NDRF personnel were called in after Tripura Chief Minister Manik Sa appealed to the Union Home Minister Amit Shah for assistance in rescue efforts. Residents from flood-affected Baldakhal village were escorted to safe places by the NDRF personnel. Additionally, the Bellonia region located in the South Tripura district witnessed severe devastation due to floods. And now to get the freshest update as to what the ground situation in Tripura is actually like, we've got our correspondent, Mrinal, who will be joining us at Hornbill TV's online bulletin and we'll speak to him more as to what the situation is actually like on the ground. Uh, first of all, good morning, Mrinal. Thank you so much for joining us on Hornbill TV. Uh, Mrinal, what is the case of devastation that has gone through Tripura. I mean, we've heard from neighboring Assam that the floods have really affected them. Manipur's Thubal district is literally flooded because of the incessant rains. Is the situation as similar to Thubal or Assam or even Nagaland in Tripura? Actually, in Tripura, the, uh, the situation is that uh, in South Tripura district, even five districts are mostly affected here. Uh, South Tripura, Gomti, West Tripura, Shibaijala, and Kwai. In yes. these five regions, a lot of rainfall has been reported. Uh, even uh, in South Tripura district, it was a record rainfall of 375 millimeters, which was recorded on 20, uh, 28th August. Yes. And the rainfall is continuing. So, because of the continuing rainfall, the, most of the rivers, which are, uh, are you know, uh, overflowing and the river banks are flooded. And uh, people who are living in the River banks are being shifted to uh, relief centers, which has been opened by uh, the government of Tripura. So far, uh, as per the government data, more than 330 uh, relief centers have been opened in all the five districts, uh, including a few in other districts as well. And uh, the number of uh, people who have uh, taken shelter in the relief camp is, uh, uh, is more than 34,000. So you can see the level of devastation that has been caused by the flood and uh, how people have to, you know, leave their, uh, have been rendered homeless completely yes. uh, because of the flood water going down to entering their houses and residential areas. In South Tripura district for particular, uh, it was one of the districts that has uh, seen such a flood after a very long time. Yes. Uh, in last 20, 30 years, uh, I have spoken to some people of uh, South Tripura district and the people from administration as well. They have also confirmed that in the last 20, uh, 30 years, there was uh, no such flood in uh, uh, South Tripura district. So people were not even prepared for that yes. uh, uh, devastation. In uh, West Tripura, you can see that some areas are flood prone areas which have been, uh, which are marked and almost every monsoon these, uh, these areas are these areas receive uh, floods. Uh, so this is how uh, the things are going on. So uh, they, in those areas, the people are uh, kind of prepared uh, to tackle the flood. But uh, in uh, the new areas that have been uh, flooded this year, uh, those areas, uh, people were not even aware how to be, you know, prepared for uh, such a condition. So this is why the devastation is, uh, I mean, the destruction of the flood is high this time. All right. So, uh, Mrinal, if you look at it, you had sent us a clip of uh, Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Sa having a telephonic conversation with Union Home Minister Amit Shah asking for assistance due to the devastation that was caused due to incessant rains. So, at the moment, do you see the NDRF and the SDRF personnel uh, on the ground and do you see that uh, the administration has taken all its efforts to divert the situation so that people don't suffer? Uh, actually, yesterday one NDRF team already reached uh, Tripura from Shilchar, okay. which was posted in Shilchar in Assam's uh, 
lower assam yes. uh, now uh, for us uh, yesterday we got the information from the chief minister that only four teams are coming from arunachal but today this morning uh, the chief minister has uh, shared another update in his social media handles okay. so uh, he said that he has again spoken to union home minister amit shah he has updated him the whole the situation what is prevailing here and now uh, seven ndrf teams are coming uh, 30 ndrf teams have been sent to unakuti district kailashahar a very uh, a bordering area uh in uh, uh, in unakuti district so yes ndrf has reached but uh, more num- more uh, more uh, ndrf troopers are required to uh, you know address the situation and uh, if you uh, say about sdrf uh, i mean all uh, the all the administration you can uh, say beat agartala municipal corporation beat uh, district administration beat uh, subdivisional subdivision beat block level each uh, the whole administrative machinery is working relentlessly many people uh, uh, in many areas uh, in the most uh, fl- uh, flood affected areas you know uh, the district ministers had passed order to uh, uh, orders uh, to the government employees uh, asking them not to leave the stations so yes definitely uh, administration is working and the chief minister himself is uh, monitoring the situation uh, from ground zero yeah yesterday night he had visited some of the uh, relief camps near agartala he had assured the people that uh, you don't have to worry we will be we will be providing each everything that you need and medical camps will be conducted uh, today uh, uh, so far i know the uh, uh, very soon doctors will go to the uh, medical camps uh, sorry relief camps from uh, the different hospitals to check whether uh, the uh the hygiene and health conditions are being maintained or not so this is the latest update what we have uh, so far collected from the ground all right rinal you were just speaking about the different uh, or rather the different districts that have been affected due to the incessant rains and that have created flood like situations due to which people have migrated to relief camps they have left their homes but uh, one of the surprising things is that the capital of tripura agartala also seems to be going through the same situation well we've heard about past reports of floods in tripura but that rarely used to affect agartala so this time around uh, what's different that even agartala is affected because uh, if you look at st- if you look at the previous data uh, the data shows that sipai jala unakoti districts they were always and especially gomti because of river gomti's uh, rising water levels uh, they have always been affected due to the monsoons but this time even agartala has been affected what could be some of the reasons even the capital has been affected yeah uh, agartala was uh, agartala is all uh, is frequently is not frequently affected by uh, i mean large scale floods but water logging is an issue in agartala city uh, even in two or three hours of uh, rain you will see water getting accumulated in the streets so what happened this time this time the uh, the haura river which is flowing uh, downstream uh, adjacent to agartala city uh, the water levels have increased significantly because of the rains in the kwai district in the hilly areas so the rain uh, so the rain water is coming downstream uh, through the river so this is why the uh, the uh, the water that is accumulated in agartala city could not uh, finding way to go out you know because the uh, whatever the water is accumulated in the agartala city for you know uh, some rains it used to be used to be discharged or pumped out through the river but this time the river water is significantly high okay. which is why the uh, this is why the uh, floods i mean the flood situation has uh, worsened this this time all right uh, mrinal you were also speaking of how the administration has uh, made around 300 uh, 30 plus uh, relief camps and also around 34000 people or approximately around 34000 people are now living in relief camps uh, have you been able to visit any of the relief camps and what is the condition like in those relief camps uh actually relief camps uh most of us are stuck in the houses because of the uh, because of the floods yes and uh, the ways uh, i mean if you want to visit a relief camp you have to uh, uh, 
I mean, pass through an area which is completely flooded. Yes. So if the water levels recede, so we we are have been, we have been planning to visit some of the relief camps, but so far the videos and uh, photographs we have received from the uh, chief minister's group and uh, other uh, administrative officials, the situation is good and. You know, in government schools, which have almost all the basic facilities uh, are being uh, converted into relief camps. So people are uh, getting uh, all kinds of benefits there. There are social uh, organizations which are providing food. The administration is also providing them food and basic uh, facilities. So the situation is not that bad uh, uh, in the relief camps. All right, uh, Mirna, we are also getting reports that the death toll in Tripura due to the floods has increased to 10. So is this an official death count and has the Tripura State Disaster Management Authority given out any bulletins to signify that these many people are affected and these many people have lost their lives due to the current situation? Uh, so far, as far the as far as the fatalities are concerned, ten people have lost their lives. Okay. Uh, it is uh, confirmed by the Disaster Management Authority. Uh, most of the deaths have occurred uh, due to landslides. Uh, one or two people uh, might have died because of drowning. So, uh, uh, landslides is a new phenomenon in uh, Tripura, I would say, because uh, we have seen in Shantir Bazar area, three uh, three persons of a family yes. died because of a deadly uh, landslide. Yes. In uh, Sunamura in Sipajola district, a lady, an elderly lady, died. Uh, in a, in a, even in a brew camp, uh, which has been wh where the newly resettled uh, uh, brew migrants, displaced brews have been uh, given a permanent settlement in Korbuk area of uh, uh, Gomuti district. Yes. Uh, uh, an elderly lady died uh, due to uh, this uh, landslide. So uh, frequent landslides have been happening because of the incidents in trains, and this is what the reason behind the deaths. Otherwise, if you see uh, the cases of drowning uh, are very less because uh, wherever the water level is uh, rising, it is not uh, above the uh, uh, above the you know the human height, uh, uh, the normal human height. But drowning cases are less. But uh, in most of the cases, landslides are becoming the reason of deaths. So this is a thing which I think uh, the uh, district, admin, uh, I mean the administration needs to ask uh, with why uh, uh, such a large number of landslides are happening uh, in Tripura. Uh, that is a very uh, uh, concerning, I mean this should be a concern for the administration. All right, Miral, now looking at the aspect, looking at a very different aspect, uh, Tripura just concluded its uh, three tier panchayat elections. Well, you had the municipal corporation elections too. You've got the general elec uh, state elections too. Well, do you think that the administration could have done better? Because if you look, uh, if you have seen the, or rather, if we have to go back to history, the monsoon seasons always bring some kind of uh, despair to the people of Northeast and especially to the people of Tripura. So now that all three tires of the elected or rather democratically elected bodies are now uh, there, do you feel that the administration could do better to tackle floods or what do you feel is the main issue as to why the administration cannot do so much so as to prevent such incidents? See, uh, prevention of such incidents needs uh, need very, very carefully careful study uh, of the and surveys of the uh, incidents that happened and uh, there should be uh, experts uh, incorporated in the teams to understand why uh, such incidents are happening but uh, in terms of uh, doing for the people i have seen uh, uh, in my even in uh, the stringers of uh, um, other districts they have also sent videos that the newly elected uh, the newly elected people who have been given to give who won the in Zilla Parishads and uh, Panchayat Shamitis and Gram Panchayats, they are uh, relentlessly working uh, for the people and they have been going uh, going house to house. They are going visiting door to door uh, for collecting information, uh, shifting people to safer places. So yes, administration. If you say the what is the administration working for the people is the newly elected people uh, the newly elected members of the three tier panchayats they are working uh, for the people who are in distress yes obviously they are working and they are on the ground but uh, if you say 
what should be done to prevent uh, such kind of natural calamities i think that should be uh, it needs uh, a proper study and scientific study of the whole scenario and why such kind of incidents are happening it should be it, it is a work of the experts i think all right uh <clears throat> Looking at the other aspects of it, uh, you have just mentioned that Tripura Chief Minister uh, Dr. Manik Sa is on the ground and he is monitoring the situation at ground zero. Well, uh, Tripura has always been a state where there is a lot of political activities and there are blame games from this camp to the other camp. In situations and in times like this, are the political parties also contributing to the safety of the people and also are the political parties also helping out without any rhyme or reason? just to help the people there because we've at least we've got reports that at least the uh, Tripura chief minister is there on ground zero but we don't see any reports that the CPIM nor the Congress are down there so uh, according to you since you're on the ground there do you see that political parties have come together just to help the people in need no actually all the MLAs you know this is a, a very critical situation and yes. most of the MLAs are working in their own uh, constituencies yes. So if you ask me, I would say the CPM uh, MLAs are also working in their constituencies. Even yesterday in Agartala, the Congress MLA, uh, Sudip Rai Burman, he's a very strong leader, also yes. CWC member. Yes. So he has also came out and uh, visited some of the flood affected areas. He has contacted the uh, local administration who can extend help to the people who are in distress. So everybody is doing their bit. And I haven't seen any political party uh, blaming the government this time yes. for not doing anything or uh, there is no blame game at least for uh, this purpose I mean the the tackling of the flood situation and all all right uh, that's such an amazing thing to hear and uh, we actually hope that it is actually uh, also apart from that uh, Bangladesh is witnessing something uh, catastrophic in their own country and Tripura being the closest border and you share a lot of kilometers of uh, international border with Bangladesh, the administration has doubled up the security, the border security forces have been enforced or rather they have been put to duty and then the Tripura police and the Tripura state force, they are put on second and third line of duty. Now with all the administration gearing up to tackle the flood situation, what do you believe is going to be the situation at the border? Uh, see, most of the bordering areas are also flooded uh, okay. right now. So, uh, I don't uh, think uh, there would be any threat of infiltration uh, because the because of the floods. Okay. And uh, the and the Bangla the bordering areas of Bangladesh, uh, which uh, the bordering areas of Bangladesh are also uh, flooded. Uh, I mean, see, you see Kumila, uh, which is very close to. Uh, Tripura borders. Um, it is witnessing a massive flood, yes. and a lot of people have died there also. Yes. So in this situation, I don't think there would be any attempts of uh, infiltration. And uh, so far, the BSF is concerned. BSF uh, people are working in the bordering areas. Uh, the Tripura state rifles have been uh, placed in the borders as a second line of defense, and uh, they are doing their job. But yes, of course, because the flood situation has arrived, uh, many people, many TSR troopers who are uh, working as SDRF volunteers, mm. uh, they, as the, uh, they have to uh, move and uh, do the work, the emergency work that they are uh, supposed to do in this uh, crisis. All right. So, Miral, uh, through you, we got the information that Tripura administration had called for closure of schools on the 21st and 22nd. At the mm. current at the current uh, time, has the administration given any further updates for schools and colleges, and also, uh, what is the administration's next step so that people are safe? Uh, I uh, I ha we haven't received any further update on this, but uh, for today the schools are closed. Yes. Uh, tomorrow I don't see I don't think the government will be going uh, going to open the schools because the IMD predict IMD has already uh, also predicted that the rains will continue. Yes. So we have to uh, wait and watch for the administration's next step. Uh, the government is. Uh, uh, and most of the schools which have been, uh, you know, where the government schools, they are occupied by the inmates of uh, inmates uh, yes. who took shelter there. 
uh, from crisis situation. So I don't uh, think the schools will be opened very shortly if the flood situation is not normalized. All right. So Minal, uh, at the end, uh, one thing that I would like to ask you, I mean, uh, over the monsoon seasons, we've heard reports from Assam, we've heard reports from Manipur, we've got our own reports from Nagaland. So do you think this is the genesis of the flood situation in Tripura or has the flood situation actually already started a long time back and do you believe that the situation is going to come to normal anytime soon? Actually, see, uh, I think this is the this is a wake up call for Tripura. Uh, a lot of uh, in a lot of places, uh, uh, dense forests have been destroyed. Yes. Uh, in many areas, uh, you know, land diversion is a very big problem. So, in the these are these were reports that we have been, uh, you know, uh, collect uh, getting unofficially that uh, land diversion is a big issue. Uh, a lot of uh, land, uh, you know, um, uh, wetland have been converted into uh, flat lands where people can uh, const uh, carry out constructions and all. So whenever we uh, convert wetland into uh, uh, for construction, we are inviting floods yes. or any other kind of natural calamity. So uh, this is a very big problem. I think this is the main uh, reason behind uh, the floods. And I think the uh, administration also knows it. And the government will uh, uh, going to look, it, uh, look at it very seriously after this situation. All right, so Mirnal, what you are uh, uh, basically alleging is that 50% of the reason of the Tripura floods is due to man-made problems. Is that true? Uh, uh, kind of. Uh, it is uh, It is a man-made problem, uh, the floods in Tripura, because uh, uh, we have seen encroachments in the river banks, uh, in the embankments of the rivers. Yes. Uh, we have seen uh, 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 rivers getting destroyed in Kauai. Uh, uh, so all these things have been happening and this was, uh, I think, the nature's uh, uh, revenge kind, uh, uh, for uh, Tripura. But uh, I think the, gov uh, the government and the administration, uh, I mean, the uh, first of all, the politically, there should be a very clear approach that... Uh, we have to address uh, the climate change yes. and uh, uh, this floods, which is, uh, I think, after many people have been saying that after 1993, this is for the first time uh, that uh, uh, one flap gate of the Dumbo Reservoir, which is the biggest uh, hydroelectric project of Tripura, yes. was opened Two uh, even, uh, I mean, two flap gates have been opened. Not opened, it gets automatically opened when the water level crosses the 94 meter uh, uh, mark. So this is after 1993, it's 2024 when the two flap gates uh, got automatically opened. So uh, this is a very, uh, this is a reason of worry, I think, yes. and the government should very uh, seriously take it up. All right. Thank you so much, Minal, for joining us on, on Live Bulletin and giving us the latest update on Tripura. We hope that wherever you go, you are safe too. And uh, please stay away from the waters. Well, that was our correspondent, Minal Banik, who is currently in Agartala. And he just spoke to us, giving us a very uh, detailed uh, ground report on what the situation actually is like. There are about 34,000 people that are currently living in relief camps. And the administration has constructed about 330 plus relief camps for them. Our correspondent Minal Banik also informed us that the Chief Minister, or rather Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Sa, is at ground zero and just yesterday night he had visited flood affected areas and has given assurance to the people that are affected due to the floods caused by the incessant rains that the administration is there to serve them and that the administration would do anything in their hands so that the people are safe. Minal also mentioned a very important point where he stated that maybe half of the reasons that Tripura is actually going through floods is due to man-made problems and one of them would be land diversions. Uh, and with Tripura's thrust for oil palm plantations and uh, the horticulture project, well, I think these are some of the issues that the Tripura government, according to Minal Banik, should actually look seriously into so that Tripura doesn't face similar situations in the future. 
Another startling revelation that our correspondent Mrinal Bani also made was that uh, the dam was the water floodgates of the dam were opened only after 1993. That also gives a, a lot of view and a lot of insight as to why the situation is burgeoning. Well, that was all for this On Life's Bulletin. For more updates like this, keep watching On Will TV. Goodbye.